We find unfortunately today, many Muslims, they say, or they have in their hearts doubt, or they have bad thoughts about their Creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're full of doubt regarding the fact that everything that has happened, everything that will happen, and that nothing will happen except that it has been preordained and predestined by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we believe that things happen because Allah decrees them. And that doesn't mean that Allah loves evil. Allah only loves good, but Allah allows evil to happen for a wisdom that is with Him alone. I have heard with my own ears, people saying, doesn't Allah know what is happening in Palestine, in Kashmir? Does Allah see the bloodshed of the Muslim brothers dying? Of our mothers and our sisters being raped in various parts of the world? Doesn't Allah see this? Doesn't He hear the cry of the orphan whose father has been killed, whose uncles and grandfathers have been killed, slaughtered in front of him? Doesn't Allah hear the cry of these orphans? They say, where is the Izzah? Where is the honor that belongs to Allah, to His deen, to the Muslims? Where is the victory that Allah has promised us? Where is the help of Allah? Why are Muslims so humiliated? Why are Muslims in a state of humiliation? Isn't the victory and the honor, the help for the believers, hasn't this been promised by Allah? Hasn't He promised us establishment in the earth? So they ask the scholars, the da'is, and the students of knowledge, where is this victory? Where is this honor? The kuffar, they say, are those who seem to have honor, who seem to have the upper hand, who seem to be victorious. The answer, my brothers and sisters, is that certainly these events happen. And certainly along with these events, we must realize that nothing happens in this universe except by the qadr of Allah, by the knowledge of Allah, by the will of Allah, and by the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are not more merciful to the oppressed than Allah. We do not have more mercy than Allah. Allah does not turn a blind eye to the situation of the Muslims today. Allah is not deaf. He's hearing the cries of the Muslims around the world. And we cannot claim that we see better or we hear better or even that we are more merciful because we feel more pity than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rahman Rahim. To have Iman, faith, in Qadr, predestination, the good and the bad thereof, is something which is a pillar from amongst the pillars of Iman. Your Iman is not Sahih, it's not correct, and it's not accepted from you until you have Iman and full Yaqeen, full faith and certainty in this fact that nothing happens in the universe except by the will, knowledge, and wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This belief, Wallah, will save you from every strife and struggle. And the Muslims today are in such time of strife and struggle because of this. Lack of belief in the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And belief in qadr is not all of one level. At the beginning you say, look, I believe in it. It's hard for me. It's a, it's a bitter pill to swallow, but it's, I believe. Then later on you say, no, I accept it. I accept that this is the decree of Allah for me. And then above that, you become content with it. You start to say the highest level and you say, I am pleased with whatever Allah decrees for me. If Allah decrees that I'm going to be hunted down and chased down in a country by an oppressive evil person, then that is what Allah has decreed for me. And I'm going to be happy with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for me. Be patient. 
because your final destination is Jannah. This is what we say to the believers today that are being tried. Be patient because your final destination is Jannah.